All right, it has come down to this. The final part of Dead Island 2 we got here. I actually recorded all of this series before the game even launched. The intro is after, obviously, but I just can't believe that I was able to finish it under leveled and everything. But thank you so much for all the support in this series so far. If you enjoyed it, if you would like some bonus content, what I may do is I'll see if my safe lock carries over to the retail version after that. If it does and we're successful, I will uh, maybe check out some side content. But for now, this will be it. I really can't thank you enough for joining me each day. It's just been a blessing to have such an amazing audience these last 13 years of my life. So, all right. Love you all. Let's go ahead and get this. All right. So, here we are. First thing I noticed. So, this is apparently the final mission. We've done 23 out of the 24. This is number 24. So, um, I like the zombie hands. The Romeros. Maybe that's like a nod to the creator of the uh, Dawn of the Dead original movie. George Romero. I'm assuming. Oh, wow. Something tells me Dr. Reed is, like, creating a monster or something. I don't know. I just have a bad vibe. Hunt down Dr. Reed. Into the shopping mall. Here we go. Where were you headed, Ruben? Hey, they're not skulls now. So I'm level 20. Oh. Are they all alive? Oh. Well, they're kind of like deadish, I guess. That's weird. It's like my level caught up a little bit. I just. Why did it scoop so far? Woo! Okay. Yeah. The last two missions were all like souls. Now, it could change during this, but. Once the mission starts, I'm assuming it's going to stay consistent, you know? There we go. Last one. Let's get it, baby. Like I said in the intro, appreciate all your support on this. I, uh, I'm hoping that my save file carries over with the main game. Tisha laid down cover. While Ruben made a way in. Looks like you could... This was pushed over. On purpose. I guess this is it. Okay, now we go up top. That's like it's got to be something I'm missing. Lotus fill. Re-aging. What? Did Doctor Reed come here to get some extra wrinkles? I'm supposed to search the area. Hold on. Pass freaking card. Must be one laying around. I mean, we got the zombie right here, but nothing. I mean, can I go back there at all? It's gonna be locked until I get access, but... I mean, isn't this the entire clinic? It wouldn't be, like, outside or anything, right? I haven't seen anything I can interact with yet, which is kind of odd. It's got to be like over here somewhere. Here we go. Key card. Oh, come on. Dead end. Ooh. No way. Do or die perk. What is that? Where is it at? I just saw it. There it is. While low on health, gain a moderate toughness boost. Okay. Hmm. No cigar. Okay, Constant. Whole place. Names, ID, this jar of cream. It's a joke, right? <gasps> Hold on. I'm going to put a few things away. Because I have way too many items. I'll dismantle these other ones later on. I'm just thankful you can actually delete stuff while in inventory. I feel like we're due for a 
superior uh, AR. Hmm. Move this one. Oh. Free up a little space. Or all right, my favorite weapon right now is this one. Go ahead and fabricate. I think we're good there. Get on that. I could bring some of these other ones higher. Level 19. This is level 15. That's why it doesn't do a lot of damage. But to bring it forward, it would actually cost everything I have. Which maybe is worth it, actually. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking, like, maybe I should get this. Cause I don't know what kind of enemy I'm gonna be fighting at the end of this game is like it's like the final boss maybe, but level 19 on that one. So I'm level 20. All of the stuff I have is level 19, but this worries me just a little bit. Yeah, I think honestly, I know it's a lot of money, but cover. Okay, Constant. This has you written all over it. Seventy percent. What are we missing? There's a fast travel map there. I'm guessing we're gonna find intel on where he went and then travel there using the map. Yeah, the search thing. Whenever you lower your hand, I'm guessing that's like the search area. Is there anything else over here? Came in here, looked around. Let's look up top. A secret door. Of course. Oh wow, what is all this? I've tracked you down, Reed. Found your hidey hole. And I'm done being nice. This is going to be a fun mission. Nice little send-off for the game, too. Assuming this bow... I've always been using this. It's probably going to be in this area. Hey! Remember me? You monster! Wait! You don't understand! Okay! I'm not a... Fucking zombie! What are you then? I don't know. But you do, don't you? You started the outbreak! Dad? What did you do? I. I. What did you do? I killed millions to save billions! Why did you infect the city? Because you. We're so rare. Only one in a million becomes a Newman, an autophage hybrid. I... I couldn't complete the cure without you. The cure's worse than the disease. No. No. The autophage isn't an illness, all right? 25 years ago, I, I found a clock hidden in our DNA counting down to the day of our extinction. When the clock hits zero, the autophage will erupt in every man, woman, and child on Earth. I, I had to stop it. It's inside everyone? <sighs> yeah, we weren't built to last. <sighs> Take that. <sighs> Conrad takes the out of age exists to create the Newman, but mm, your anomaly's the best. Puppets are worst. We're joined in our minds. Joined by what? What does it want? Either Lolo is blind to it or she... I, I can only spare a few drops, but it'll neutralize the out of age, make you human again, all right? Now just go! Go! I can't hold on much longer! No! Use it on yourself! Sweetheart. Sweetheart. You don't know what else I did. 
I modified an unborn baby. With the Newman blood, she becomes the cure. <laughs> to be harvested every day for the rest of her life. I mean, I've, I've taken everything from you. I, ah! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, ah! Get Get her up. Get her out of LA. There's nothing we can do. We've got to go. Don't touch me. Come on. Run. Go. Thinks like maybe <laughs> Molotov might be the play. Okay, he's a skull, so we gotta be careful. I wonder if there's gonna be other enemies. Yep, there is. Okay. I had a feeling. This is a nice soundtrack. All my shots there. One shot. Well, here we go again. This is about to be a, uh, Long night, I feel like. Reap the whirlwind, Dr. Reed. Come on over here, buddy. <laughs> Why is it always shoot the extra shot every time? Ah, come on. 
Let's get it, baby. Do your worst, man. I have a plan safe. A screamer? Yeah, I'm uh, a little low on everything right now. This is not good. Okay. Luckily, the zombies themselves aren't, like, super high level. So... It's just the boss I really gotta worry about. I wish they would drop something, though. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding. Oh, my God. I got nothing I can do, really. I kind of wonder if I just go straight to the boss and just try to just kill him quickly. I'm running through the fire hoping they'll follow me. I don't know what else to do. I'm so glad I leveled this thing up. This is a very tough fight. Like the enemies are non-stop too. Please be the last bit of enemies. It looks like they break out of there. The thing I'm most worried about is... It looks like it's RNG, kinda. Hold on. All right, if I can get it to fall down. Oh no. Whatever you throw at me, I'll throw back at you. This is gonna be a tough fight. I, what? I have health still. That's rough. Is there a, there is a bench up here. What I'm gonna do is put fire on everything. I'm so glad this bench is right here. All right, so here's one thing I'll say. It seems as if, uh, as far as upgrades go, 
you want fire for everything. So I'm doing that. I'm going to use everything I have fire-wise. Because I feel like that's the only way he's going to die. Because I have been... I've been on this boss, I'll tell you right now. 50 minutes and 24 seconds. <laughs> Alright, fire again. What do we got here? Oh, let's see. That's actually nice. I don't have enough to do that. Other one, though. Like this right here, I can't do that. It increases damage. Oh, yeah. We should probably do that on all of them, right? Let's, uh, let's actually do that. Because here's what I've been doing on the start of the fight. I'll, like... I probably should put this on there, too. But I have the other shotgun, but I don't like the element. So I may, uh... may change it. Because it's superior, but I just feel like... Is it really necessary? Oh, it's going to drop the damage a lot. Mmm... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like those two and this, I mean, I should be fine. Yeah, this is this is just a tough fight. So here's what I've been doing. I start off the fight by throwing Molotov, and then I just start shooting. Now, I don't know. I'm kind of going into this hoping that I can actually finish this by just killing him. Now, if I got to kill everything, I'd be a little bit of a problem, but here we go again. Reap the whirlwind, Dr. Reed. That's my plate busted. Looking thin, Reed. So stressed out right now. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, 
We did it! Let's go! Names. Oh, wakey, wakey. I never want to do that fight again. Not on low level, at least. I'm so glad the other enemies died. Uh, hold on. Let me delete just something random. I don't even know. Just, just get rid of it. Uh, there we go. Hey, there's more. Uh, empty slots. I'm guessing. What does that say? Ooh. Please is dying. Oh wait, Tisha. Where's Tisha? All of them are weak, so that's good. Should I back to the chopper? I should I. Oh, it's the uh, song I think at the very beginning of the game. Could be wrong. Stay down. This is not a drill. No, I'm about to get this XP though. Don't get it twisted. Get to the chopper. Might last the whole way, I don't know. She'd be here. Oh, I haven't seen anyone. The doctor? Paid the price. Oh, crap. Goodbye. Again? Wait! It's what I deserve. No. No one deserves this. I've got a one-shot cure. It was meant for me, but we've all got to change. You can, too. Head, you idiot. Uh, yeah, muscle memory. You see, I'll always come back for you. Uh, for some reason, I'm starving. Got any of that pastrami? Perfect. Hey. We gotta get going. I'm staying. The cure's out there. And she won't last long without help. Here. Go save the world. <laughs> Count on it. Thank you. We won't waste this. Good luck. luck.
decided to stay with us? Yes. yes. To find Tisha. Is that the only reason? Nice. All right, you completed the story quest, but there's still plenty to do around LA. Keep an eye out for side quests and other content now that. Oh, you've unlocked now. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and take some time and just. Uh oh. What was that noise? You know what? I'm gonna go to the main menu because this soundtrack is freaking me out a little bit. All right, thought I would transition to the main menu, just kind of do like a little bit of a review. Um, overall, I like the game a lot. It kind of came out of nowhere because I wasn't expecting it to actually, I guess, <laughs> ever actually release. Because the other game came out such a long time ago, I actually forgot, like, the radio guy and everything. Like, I forgot about all that. Um, but the last, like, I feel like the last three or four missions, I was underleveled pretty well. And uh, I guess I probably should have, like, farmed enemies or did something else. But kind of powered through it. That last boss took me about an hour. Uh, and the area before that... And the previous mission took me almost an hour as well. So I kind of toughed it out, got it done. Um, when I got this game early, I actually was told that kind of had an expiration date because game's on Epic Game Store, right? And uh, that's how I'm playing it. But it's like an early press copy. And they said that your progress may not carry over when the game is going to just self-update. And I wanted to finish this before uh, April 21st when the game launched. So anyways... Thank you so much for all the support. I thought the game overall was nice. I'm glad we uh, went all the way with it. I had a lot of fun. It was actually a pretty tough game there. Like the, the very end was uh, a lot more challenging than expected. Um, I had a lot of... I usually take notes when I, I guess, edit. Or as I'm playing, I'll take notes and I'll use those to edit everything. And uh, let's just say that the last three or four videos, I took a lot of notes because I died a lot. <laughs> so anyways, um, trying to think of like what to compare it to. I feel like I will get the question, is it better than, like, Dying Light 2, for instance? Okay, yeah, Dead Island and Dying Light, back-to-back, kind of. What about a two-year apart thing? Um, and then you got the same thing for both sequels, you know? But I also know there was, like, the Riptide thing for Dead Island. Uh, man, there's so much early concept stuff for Dead Island 2 that it's like, I don't know what is, like, in the original game versus this. I was just like, got everything like crisscrossing my mind just thinking about it because it's like, feels like a brand new experience. It's a lot more linear than the first game. I will say that it's not as open world as I was expecting, but at the same time, I can see why they did it the way they did. Uh, the story itself was really nice. The Hollywood vibe of it, the, I mean, it's just really well done. The movie set pieces, the giant spider mission, the types of enemies are cool. Now, I will say that that last boss was kind of, kind of crazy. I was like, okay, you have limited hills, which, you know, the enemies dropped a lot, but you also have every type of enemy except the one that was like the clown. And that was like the turning point for me in the game was the clown. When I saw that on like the Ferris wheel, I thought that was, that's one of the coolest things in the game is you got this clown zombie with these like, I don't know, crab claw types, like, like a Baraka from Mortal Kombat kind of. And just stabbing their way up to the top to get to you. And then it's like you slowly get there. That, I think that was like the best mission in the game for me was after that. Uh, but there were a lot of missions where it was kind of like go here, take all the enemies out. Oh, here's a wave two. Here's a wave three. And then you're done. And I kind of felt like that might have been a little bit overdone at the end. I mean, I understand why they did it. But there's also an issue where certain sections will, like if you use all your AR ammo. And you die. You respawn with no ammo. But the enemies start fresh. So you're like kind of... You kind of mess yourself up by doing that. So I think at one point I just decided, okay, I'm just going to just keep resetting. Kill enemies. Get their stuff. Ammo. Everything. And then just only use like my bombs and stuff like that. Like the curveballs are really nice. Um, but overall, really nice vibe. I like the game a lot. I thought it like the, the Venice Beach. Santa Monica. The pier. Uh, just... The sewer section was the only part I probably didn't really care for as much, but it didn't last that long. But then towards the end of the game, you go back down there, and I was like, uh-oh, here we go again. I'm trying to think, what I, what I recommend this over Dying Light 2, and it's, I don't know. 
it it's like two completely different types of games. I feel like this will have one audience. Now, as far as side quests, there's apparently a lot. So there's a lot of content as far as actually completing the game. Uh, we got to the main story. If my stuff carries over, I'll probably check out some of the other challenges. Level up, see what kind of like stuff you can find through like the lost and found progress, all that stuff. And uh, kind of go from there. But overall, this year has been amazing for games. What do we start out? We had the Forspoken game. We had Dead Space Remake, Hogwarts Legacy. Then we had Resident Evil 4. There was something else in there. I can't remember. Oh, Atomic Heart. Yeah, that was another one. And now this is like, you know, just, just finish this. My goal was to finish this before starting uh, Jedi Survivor. Is that what it's... I think that's what it's called. I'm not 100% sure if that's what the new Star Wars game is called. Uh, but I mean, I get that early, but I'm going to definitely be covering that. But I wanted to at least have this fully captured before I start that. Because that's going to, like, take over when it drops. But um, overall... I can recommend this game really well. I, I think that, like, it'll be one of those. I don't know how it's going to score because I'm recording this. I'll tell you the exact date and time where I just beat this game. Uh, April 17th. And it's 9.31 Eastern Time. <laughs> so, and that's at that's PM. So, uh, I don't know what the scores are yet. They haven't... They think they, like, just put out the launch trailer as I finish the game. And I'm, like, kind of reading what people are saying that got it early as well. But uh, we'll kind of see what the scores look like. If I had to take a guess... I would at least expect like an 8 out of 10. But you never know. I think the game is really well polished. And here's what's another thing. A lot of games will run great either on like console it runs great. And then the PC port's bad or vice versa. It runs great on PS5. I played a lot on there too. And there was no issues. It feels like 60 frames. Um, you know, none of the stuff seemed toned down on there. But PC obviously is going to be a little bit more. The graphics are going to look better, you know. Uh, but yeah, one of the main things I was happy for was this right here, this stream remote. This saved me so many times because there would be like moments where I'm fighting an enemy and there's no music and it feels like there should have been. And I'm like, okay, that's, it's actually working as intended. Some games will have this and it won't be set up properly to kind of protect creators like myself. So, um, will we get a deadline three? I don't know. I kind of want to see, let's jump back into the game. Actually, no, we don't need to. We can actually, I can show you like, you can have several different Slayers. You can have six total. I made this one kind of messing around, which I guess I could delete that one, but I'm actually scared that <laughs> I'm kind of hovering over it. And what if I accidentally miss, you know? But um, yeah, kind of just rambling at this point. I'm gonna go put my daughter to sleep. I'm actually hoping, I don't wanna play any more of this game until I get like the full version unlocked. Because if I get it unlocked and I still have all this progress, I'm going to go check it out more. I'm probably going to play it a lot, actually, because I loved the first game. I remember back. I'll give you, like, a little story time. Uh, I was living with my dad when the first game came out. Let me... Let's just kick back for a minute. I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, this is kind of like my member videos that I do. Hold on. Dead Island release date. I just want to see. September 6th, 2011. Yeah, that's God. That's so. That's like twelve years ago, almost. But okay, eleven and a half years ago, pretty much, because this September will be twelve. Um, I can't believe it's been that long. I was I had my own apartment. I just moved out of my dad's house, I think, because the first year I ever kind of, I don't know, went for it all on YouTube was in two thousand twelve. It was a scary year because I had, you know, I had a job. I was full time in college. I graduated from college. And I kind of went all in on this and I, you know, I'm glad it kind of worked out, but it was kind of scary there for a little while. But that year, man, I just remember 2011, you had all these games. And then I just remember like the Dead Space 2 was kind of like what put me on the map, but Dead Rising 2 was the first game I ever covered. And then you had uh, Portal 2, Catherine, Duke Nukem Forever, <laughs> Fear 3, stuff like that. That was like... That was like my first like let's play style, I guess, walkthrough thing, you know, and that fall was like crazy. It was like Modern Warfare 3, I think it was. Was Skyrim and Saints Row the third on there too? I can't remember. But then it was like right after that, you know, it was like right in the beginning of fall. I didn't know fall was like the busy time for gaming until I got into all this, you know, but September, I remember 
I was still working at the retail store I was working at for a while. I worked there for like years, and uh, we got the game in. I was like, man, I can't wait to play it. And I just remember back then, I didn't know anybody I could reach out to to get stuff, you know, like to review it early or anything. So like doing this now and having like contacts, it's just, it's crazy how like networking takes you as far as you can, you know? Um, but the overall like thing I always think about is before Dead Island dropped, I always thought I was like, man, I hope this series does well. Like I'm, I'm just like going to give it everything I got, but I had an office job in like Atlanta. <laughs> and, uh, I remember I was working like an accounting firm and, uh, I would take an old Toshiba laptop there because their internet was insane. And after I'd get off work, I would upload videos. And back then you couldn't schedule YouTube stuff. You know, you'd have to post it manually and it, it uploaded it based on your speed at which it, it uploaded. And then, uh, I guess how it processed. And then it goes to HD or SD or whatever. I'm not sure like the actual order it does everything, but uh, now you can just upload like two weeks early, a year early, and then just hit schedule. You know, that's what I do now, which is why back then the videos were like 10 minutes long, sometimes less, sometimes I think the max I could upload at one point was like 15 minutes, like in Dead Space 2. I could never go past that really, because uh, I don't think YouTube had that capability then. It's like something wouldn't let you upload too long of a video if you weren't a certain type of channel, and uh Finally, I got to that point where I could do that. And that's why I like my part ones like an hour, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. But around that hour mark is like the sweet spot. And uh, now I like this year, I've kind of converted to trying to do everything in 4K, everything half hour after the part one. Whether or not that stays like that, I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah, I used to go there and I would upload Dead Island. I made like five videos a day. I was going crazy, but I didn't do thumbnails back then, which made things a lot easier, <laughs> but I can kind of see where now you kind of need that. Um, so yeah, that was kind of a little story time, but anyways, love you all. Can't wait to play more of this game. Actually. Like the more I think about it, I feel like the only reason the last few missions were tough for me was just because I was under leveled a lot. I mean that one mission, it said every enemy was a skull, but then after that mission, I leveled up and then like, the next one, it, everything was fine. It was like level 22 and I was 20. I'm guessing if it's a three level difference, because the final boss was a skull. I'm just glad that the actual enemies around the boss weren't the same level. Cause that would have been, whoo, that would have been tough, but yeah, overall I liked it. I wonder what, what's in the extras. Hold on. Collectible. So you get the blueprints. Oh, I guess it's just those like the quests. Yeah. 24 quests. Well, you got other ones, too. I'm uh, almost certain they'll have DLC for this game. Almost certain. I thought it was crazy how the perfect block and dodge, you have to pick which one you want to equip. So you can't just have... Which I think dodge is way better because you're just getting out of it. At the very end, you saw me pressing E over and I was sliding everywhere. I was just like... I was scooting around the area. I kept spending... But if I had to do like block, it would have been rough. Um... Man, this right here I find crazy. So that means that that I see exactly half the enemies. I'm guessing that's what the Zompedia is. It's like shows you what type of enemies. That's crazy. Skills unlock name. Yeah, there's a... Oh, look how many. Oh my goodness. I would imagine, since there's so many more of these, a the lot of those are these. Because these might be like specialty type enemies. You know, you go to an area and there's some guy named like... I don't know. Somebody's first name and like, like just Brad, you know, and it's like Brad, the zombie, you got to kill him. That's what that counts for. Okay. Well, that's it. Nice little story time. Nice little ending. Um, got to say that this year has been awesome. We got the star Wars game coming up. Uh, final fantasy this summer. Hopefully this fall Spider-Man two. Hope you're all there with me. That's the goal is to cover all these games. So I wouldn't be here without you. Um, I don't ever take this for granted. That's why I go pretty much just every night. If I can get a chance to, I record. The next day I edit. Uh, I was so determined to finish this game. I was like, I guess I was also kind of worried my save file would get kind of, I guess, wiped out <laughs> if I wasn't careful. And um, yeah, this worked out great. So anyway, sorry I'm rambling. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I love you all. Thanks for like supporting each and every video. Hope you enjoyed the series. I'm not sure how many parts it's going to be about to edit all of this. So all right, much love. Take it easy.